Hi, so today is how to create a, a portal like this um, in Experience Cloud that can host a bunch of different tiles and each one's going to be able to take you to an org, a separate org, um, and log you in automatically. Um, so this is ideal for a, a company that has a multi-org structure. Um, so for example, this org my name is Jonathan Fox, so I'm going along the Fox theme. We've got the Den as the uh, experience portal. And we've got this all called Little Cub. So if I click on Little Cub, what should happen is I am taken to this other org, the Little Cub org, um, and it logged me in automatically. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. So what I have is a, um, first, first of all, what I have is my um, experience, digital experience, community cloud site. Um, and I've used the Aloha template, which allows me to have my um, identities here uh, in the app launcher. Um, so my connected apps. And that gives you a bit of a hint what we're going to be doing to create those. So uh, first of all, this is a completely new uh sandbox uh, devorg um, so what i'll be doing here is first of all i want to connect this uh, org to my main org and the way i'm going to do that is by going to single sign on and what we're doing is this is our service provider and our main org over here is our identity uh, provider. So if we look at that identity provider, Salesforce orgs can be identity providers. Um, when you have a uh, my domain set, they automatically this gets automatically enabled. Um, so we're using this main org, the one that hosts the portal, as our identity provider, and then each of the separate orgs is going to be our service provider. So what I need to do is create a new single sign-on. Um, and what I need is, in fact, if I click cancel, what I can do is I can create it from metadata file. So if I head over to my main org, the identity provider, I can download the metadata and I'm going to download the certificate as well. And then if I head over to the, the service provider org, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new single sign on from the metadata file. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that there and click create. I'm going to upload the certificate and I'm just going to check everything else. So what I'm using is the Federation ID um, to link the users together. Um, I leave everything else as it is, except from um, I'm going to let them single logout is enabled. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and click save because everything else there was fine um, and I'm going to take note of these uh, endpoints down here so that's my single sign-on configured I need to go to my um, identity provider org and I need to create a, a connected app so I'm going to go to app manager new connected app I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. So this one is my wise org because um, foxes are supposed to be wise. So call it that. Just throw in some contact details. Can add my logo, just standard, you know, contact uh, connected app kind of stuff. If I want a logo, information URL, all that kind of stuff. I don't for now, so I'm okay. And what we're going to be configuring is the web app settings. So I'm going to start URL is going to be our login URL here. So I'm going to grab that and pop that in there. I'm going to enable SAML. My identity is also going to be uh, that same um, URL. And again, the uh, assertion is going to be the same. Uh, enable single logout. Yep, I'm going to enable the single logout because I want them to be able to log out of that one but not necessarily have to log out of them all. So I'm going to grab that logout URL there. And it was redirect. Um, doo -doo. Federation ID is the subject type because that's what we're using to link them all together. 
The issuer is this org, so it is this org's URL, and we're using the default IDP certificate. Everything else there, I'm going to leave as is. And if I go ahead and click save, I've now created my connected app. Because I provided a start URL, I should also now see, um, let me just go back a second, because I need to add, manage the app first, and I need to add it to my profile. So manage profiles, I'm gonna add it to my profile. And now once I've clicked save, I would now see, because I gave it a start URL, I now see it here. And clicking on that does in fact take me to the org. Now, if I add it to this app launcher here, it's not going to take me directly to the org. It's going to ask me to log in um, either by my username and password or via one of my single sign-ons. So what I need to do is head over to that org because I want it to be automatic. I don't want to have to click uh, one of the single sign-on providers. Um, I don't want to have to click... Um, any sort of button I just want it to direct me straight there so what I need to do is go to my domain and if I click on my domain and scroll down here we can see the the ways that we can log on first of all I'm going to prevent it from logging on from uh, the usual login at Salesforce and I'm going to also remove the login form and only allow the authentication to be via my uh, the den the main the the identity provider now if i go ahead and click save on there and i will log out of this org so i am logged out of that org now and if i go ahead and click this we get an error single sign on error um that's actually understandable. The reason I'm getting that single sign-on error is because I haven't actually um, updated my user in this org with my federation ID. So let's just go ahead and relaunch that org. Um, and we'll add the federation ID on and then it should work. So we need to make sure that the federation ID is the same. Um, you can, in your settings, configure the federation ID in your single sign-on settings to be case insensitive. Um, so just be aware of what your settings are. Federation ID, let's have it the same. Now if I go ahead and log out of this org, fantastic, we're logged out. We're we errored on there. So now if I go ahead and click the wise org, should get logged in. There we go, we're logged in. Um, that means everything's working as it should be. So finally, what we need to do now is go to our uh, digital experiences, all sites. Let's have a look at our sites and that didn't work. Go on all sites, we'll go on the builder and here we should be able to either already, there you go, it's already added. So we've got our two different orgs there already added. Uh, I'm going to publish that. So now what I want to do is grab the URL for that. And what we will see now is our two orgs. And I can click on that one and I'll be taken and logged in straight away to my little club org. And I can click that one and I'll be taken to my wise org. Both working absolutely fine. I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Cheers.